Holy Ghost Preparatory School is a private Catholic school for young men in the Cornwells Heights, Ben Salem area in Pennsylvania. It was founded in 1897 by the Spirit and Missionaries. I think Holy Ghost is a really unique place that I've been a part of. Uh, the community kind of tries to allow our students to engage other people. We are blessed as a school. And I'm very honest with what I'm saying. We are blessed uh, to have these young people here. They are very good kids, very smart, a lot, very challenging. The biggest part of um, why I've enjoyed my time here is I look at this school as a family. We're not only educating them for college, but they're edu we're educating them to be uh, citizens and, and to be um, uh, moral, ethical, valued professionals in the world. Holy Ghost Prep was founded by Father John Murphy in 1897 as Holy Ghost Apostolic College, a preparatory and junior college seminary for young men studying to become members of the Religious Order of the Holy Ghost Fathers and Brothers. In the 1950s, the school started to move its college-level program to Duquesne University and opened its doors to non-seminarians in 1959 for the first time. We are the only um, uh, spirit in high school uh, in the country, you know, so that makes us very unique. And, um, you know, one of the things that you know, I've been here for 21 years, um, one of the things that I've, that I've really liked about uh, working here is, you know, the, the overall philosophy of the school and the mission and the influence of, of, of the spirit. And so, um, that works its way into, into everything that, that we do. I had the good fortune last summer of spending uh, two weeks in Tanzania and um, spending time with Father Chris McDermott, who had uh, taught years ago in, in Tanzania, to uh, uh, learn more about the, the Spiritans and the uh, Holy Ghost Fathers, as they seem to be called more in, in Tanzania than, than here. So I had the opportunity to spend time at Tengaru Boys School and learn about Father Babu and uh, visit the Spiritan House in Arusha and the work that's being done uh, by the Flying Medical Services um, and the, then the efforts to, to, um, uh, to do missionary work with the Maasai. One thing is the tradition, which is very important. And uh, the, the extension toward, towards the Spiritan community, the reaching out, the connectivity, is important and uh, it's it's there and uh, they from my experience sh short experience here is that uh, they uh, that uh, they realize that as Holy Ghost Preparatory School the diversity of thought originates in the classroom rejecting the notion that the basic purpose of education is job training the value of the study of arts and sciences in the development of thinking persons whose beliefs and values are not subject to the whims of current opinion, but rather are based on a knowledge and critical evaluation of the past and its lessons for the present. A hundred percent every year we are accepted to four-year institutions, yes. So we're very pleased with that. Our boys are very, uh, very driven uh, and, and really have their, you know, they know what they want to do. And if they don't, they know what they want to do, they know where they want to go. Uh, yeah, they're 100%, so we're very proud of that. Our students have, um, as of this year, or for the last bunch of years, even when I was a student here, we have a hours requirement. So the underclassmen, freshmen, and sophomores have a 10-hour requirement for service. The juniors and seniors have a 20-hour requirement per year. All service is important, um, and I think it's important because it, teaches our students to give back to the community. One of the founding components of the school is this sense of community and this concern for the poor and, and the global vision. Service trips just really open their eyes to what life is like in other parts of the world. So, you know, this past week I just got back from a West Virginia trip that's very in Appalachia. It's very different than what these kids are used to. So that's really important that they get to see that in, in their, you know, not too far away in the United States. One of the greatest things I've experienced here is what I call the Holy Ghost normal, which is just they are willing to participate and support. 
For the first three years, pretty much the curriculum is the required core courses. The six credits that they have to take each year include English, math, social studies, science, world language, and religion. There are also some co-curriculars that are required. In freshman year, students have to take one fine arts course, but they do get to choose that. There are electives that they can take. They can take computer course electives, they can continue in art and music and take those types of courses, but they all need the six core courses to graduate. In senior year, there's more options for electives because in senior year, they, the required courses are English, math, and religion, and then they have three credits that they can choose from electives. There's a lot of homework involved, but it's, the first year, it's just a transition phase, but as soon as you get through the transition, I just fell in love with it. Everything about it, from even doing the homework, was just, it was just relaxing and soothing to me that I knew I was gonna be ready for college. Lately, we've been having a STEM initiative, so we're looking at courses that will enhance that STEM initiative. So recently, we've offered a microcontrollers and robotics course. We are putting in a, an innovation lab in the, um, on the first floor of, of Cornwell. So uh, that is gonna be um, a space where students can go in and basically work their way through you know, the engineering process and work their way through design challenges. The innovation lab is gonna really change the way uh, that we go about uh, teaching and learning at, at Holy Ghost. The idea is to have two bio labs, two physics labs, and two chem labs where students can go in and, and, and do hands-on work with you know, the disciplines and, and really integrate all of the sciences um, you know, in, their, in their classes. I think one of the unique things about Holy Ghost is that we're very mission-driven. It defines who we are, it defines what we do, and it defines what we aspire to be. And part and parcel of that is our collegiate imperative, our spiritan imperative, and then the critical um, uh, importance of engagement and uh, developing the unique gifts of our students. Forensics is speech and debate, um, but I also say that it's usually speech, debate, and performance. I wish I just had one friend, though. Just one friend. Yeah, no! My name is Krishna. I am a new kid also. Um, hi. What do you want? I wish for your companionship, if you please. Companionship? You mean friendship? Yes, friendship. This is what I mean. Okay. I made a friend. I'm so happy. Math Davies, who was doing a, a performance called Finding Ryan, he embodies seven or eight characters, and all are unique voice, body, movement, attitude are all unique and, and specific and based on reality. One of the things that I do with my English students when we study Shakespeare, uh, we take a virtual tour of London and we talk about uh, you know, how what was happening in Elizabethan England would impact what Shakespeare was writing. Um, we go through the different places in London through that virtual tour and identify important parts and important landmarks in Shakespeare's life and you know, how that might have impacted his writing. At Holy Ghost Prep, participation in extracurricular activities is an important part of the formation of community in one heart and one mind. More than 75% of Holy Ghost students compete in interscholastic athletics and all Holy Ghost Prep students are involved in extracurricular activities either on or off campus. We have a terrific group of coaches, families, and students. And that part of it, if that triangle is all intact and everybody's working to achieve the same goals, that's what gets you years put up on banners. We get really hardworking kids, and just as their abilities are maximized in the classroom, our coaches try to maximize their abilities on the court, the field, the pool, wherever it might be. We are uh, thriving right now at participation. 72% of our students are playing in an interscholastic sport. These four years for me, they've been incredible. I've kind of seen a total transformation in my own life because of um, Holy Ghost. I think the one thing that, 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 that we do well, uh, that Holy Ghost does well, um, is allow high school students to find out who they are and, and what their place is in the world. One of our current students, Jack Pinkstone, uh, a very quiet student who, uh, when he first got here, 
wasn't sure how we fit in, but we gave him the opportunities and the facilities and the staff to be able to take the ideas that he was really passionate about and then be able to, like I said, find excellence within that, but then immediately learn that he has to give back. Jack Pinkstone came to me with this project that he had found uh, online. He actually did the first prosthetic hand on his own at home and he brought it to me completely finished. Uh, and when I saw it, I, I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. I was like, wow, Jack, this is, this is really something special. We should do more with this. So then Jack had the idea to do a club and use the 3D printer that we have here at the school to start making these parts for the hands and have the kids help us assemble the hands and then eventually we'll, we'll ship them out to, uh, to kids who need these hands all over the world. I saw an article online where kids around the world in high schools and middle schools um, are 3D printing prosthetic hands for kids in need around the world. So I found this website and brought it to my teacher, Mr. Jacobs, and we've, we started this 3D printing club where we 3D print hands every Tuesday, which we send to the 3D printer. And from the, 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 the 3D printer, we click print, and 16 hours later, a hand shows up on the print bed. We take the hand off and we assemble the 3D printed parts first, then we use a string and nuts and bolts and Velcro and foam to put together the actual hand that will be used by the children. The alumni are critical to the, to the mission of the school, first and foremost because they were the, the, the background, they're the legacy of the institution because of the decades that they were present here as the school. But perhaps more importantly is they are critical to our future because of their ability to give back to the school, whether it's their time, uh, their expertise, and most significantly their financial support. I chose Holy Ghost because uh, while well, my brother went here and he told me all about Holy Ghost. That's how I first got involved with the Holy Ghost Prep community. And once he told me how amazing and everyone was here, I had to see it for myself. For me, Holy Ghost is different because you can have just a personal relationship with your teachers. They know you, they know how you operate, they know how you study, and you can always help, you can always ask them for help whenever you feel it. So. The Spiritan tradition is actually pretty cool because that's what I wrote about for my uh, scholarship essay. And um, I wrote about global vision and how it, it's one of the Spiritan views and it's really inspiring because um, it's, it's a way that they look at helping other people across the world and helping people that normally aren't helped. We have a lot of different projects going on here uh, at the school with uh, IT and computer science in general. Uh, we're trying to get kids ready for the, for the next step. We try to teach them engineering, design, skills, and, and um, techniques that they can use to problem solve and help people all over the world. We, we've started the process of uh, our STEM initiative here at Holy Ghost, which is, which is interesting for us and a new thing, new territory for us, because uh, we're traditionally a liberal arts school. Uh, so for us to have a STEM initiative is, is really an, an amazing opportunity and it's new ground for us but you know we're excited at it and we're working hard at it. Uh, a lot of the boys that come to, come to school here are interested in STEM careers and that engineering and that math field and we really want to make sure that we provide for them all the resources that we possibly can so you know those interests are cultivated and those skills are developed. Yeah, I've been drama moderator and chief <laughs> cook and bottle maker for for the theater for since I started, yeah. Theater is a, play, is a place for the kids that aren't into the sports necessarily, uh, and where they, where they can find some satisfaction and some recognition, and, and also uh, a tremendous sense of community, you know, like that, that they find a place for themselves, you know, that, that uh, so, and it may be kids that, that ordinarily wouldn't be stars, or however you put it that way. You know, there's so many kids I think of that have passed through our theater program that were just sort of the geeks and the, that, uh, that ended up, you could see such incredible growth in them over the past four years that they were involved and uh, more confidence and just tremendous growth that happens just because of that. The Holt Center across the street is, uh, it's going to be a, a, you know, a 250 performing arts space, uh, classrooms for uh, uh, music instruction, um, facilities for our athletics. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be, a, 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 you know, a, the word is premier, it's going to be a premier facility um, for, for, you know, the athletics and, and the arts. It's going to be a great place for students and teachers to develop their, you know, their, their unique gifts as, as, as students. What makes this school, Holy Ghost Prep, special is 
uh, the spiritual spirit here, which is uh, emphasis, the emphasis on community, brotherhood, uh, family, Holy Ghost Prep is, is a family, it's a community. One of the things that's important to understand about Holy Ghost Prep as a school as it relates to the staff and the faculty is to understand the absolute commitment to that idea of us being a spirit in school. We think it's so important for the students to really appreciate what the spirit and identity and mission is and to see how that comes, comes to life not only locally and regionally but internationally as well. They, like Greg, who's the new president, keeps talking about the, you know, the Holy Ghost is the best kept secret in Bucks County. I think the Spiritans are one of the best kept secrets in the church. Uh, you know, we have a lot to brag about. We have a lot of thing, accomplishments and I'm very proud of our community and, and all of the, the things it's done.